<laughs> it is kind of like an aerial wave dash, I guess. Oh, the fact that it's bufferable full drift? Wait, Falcon's turnaround is like his biggest weakness. Can I just do this instead of turning around? <laughs> yes! Show me a move! This is actually so well produced though, genuinely. I'll check it out. Like, this is such good production. What's up guys? Gimmer the video game scientist from VG Bootcamp here. Alright. I genuinely have no idea what this is yet. Dude, it's better than just like in his fam day and The look on Gluto's face for that is so perfect. Okay, it's the slingshot. It's a small group of overlapping mechanics that create multiple options for a singular buffer wolf start. Its quality of life changes lead to input shortcuts and advanced movement options. Okay. Oh, the fact that it's bufferable full drift? It is kind of like an aerial wave dash, I guess. What what does it mean by what did he mean by bufferable? As in you can do it like buffering it out of landing something in someone's face? A semi-technical <laughs> oh, that's gross. <laughs> oh, oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Holy sh. Wait. Falcon's turnaround is like his biggest weakness. Can I just do this instead of turning around? And not really care about bad turnaround anymore? Holy shit. Oh, oh man. I'm not gonna get too excited. <laughs> Some of this is just gross looking though. <laughs> this is just so disgusting looking. And I mean that in the best possible way, by the way. So what this is making me think about is, this means that a lot of characters pressure that was like very close to being really good can become really good like there were plenty of you know, characters that could kind of just mash on shield and and it would basically just be very close to safe but you still had to like play a lot of guessing games with things like whether or not you had to worry about shield grabs or up smash out of shield or a bunch of other stuff and it looks like to some extent you ignore that that's the one i like cold shot Like that, that full Please drift is disgusting. First. That's so cool looking. The goal here is to get the jump out. Jump squad animations. This is making me think about pressure, but it's also making me think about ways you can use like this for baits. Like even just when you're not on hitting on shield. That is, oh my God. That one seems really good if you like want to pressure shields. Wait a second. I just thought of something else. I wonder if it's possible. You know, normally if, uh, let's say I'm by the ledge and I land down air on someone and I'm, let's say I'm on their right side, okay? I'm on the right side of someone and I land down air and they, let's say they DI to the left. From that position, it was basically impossible to then get reverse knee. Like I'd have to go simply too far off of an input that wasn't reliable. With this, would it be? Would I be able to like land down air on the right side of someone and even if they DI all the way to the left, I could still catch them in reverse knee and kill them? I I'll mess with that. That might work. Sorry I'm not saying much by the way guys, but I'm just thinking. Like this is a lot to think about. Like there's actually so much. It's like, it's not even just like shield pressure. Like I'm thinking of like movement base. I'm thinking of ways I could I could use back air as a pressure tool and then psych people out. I'm thinking, what if I like, what if I landed like back air on someone's shield and then I slingshot to fade away from a, an out of shield punish and then knee them? Like, is that something I could do? Like, I, I could back air and then they try to punish my shield and I just knee them. <laughs> it 
Ew. Yeah, let's talk about special one. Wait, we can just play Falcon like a Street Fighter character. Just always face our opponent so we don't have to turn around. Oh, you're worried about turning around because you're turning around and get caught? What if we just didn't, but still moved backwards effectively? Dude, my, I am reeling. I wonder how effectively I could use it on reaction to someone trying to run at me or something. Like, instead of trying to like, instead of basically feeling like I'm forced to parry or just read whatever they're gonna do after they land a move on my shield, maybe I could see someone running towards me and then in response, just slingshot backwards. That sounds like that would probably work. Ew. Ew, just do a move on shield and then do that, moving backwards? That's gross. Oh my. Oh man. That Sheik movement looks disgusting. Holy shit. God, this character is gonna like zoom back and forth around your shield. Like a, like a goddamn fly. Yeah, yeah, this is seeming great for Falcon for like a lot of pressure and it seems so relevant for him in particular because we have like by far the worst turnaround in the game. Like in general, it really makes me think that we're gonna have like an easier time just not caring about our turnaround weakness. And if we can to an extent not care about arguably our biggest weakness, that that's that's nice. Obviously the fact that everyone gets this means that it might not necessarily move Falcon forward in a relative sense to the rest of the cast, but but I could see it, so we'll see. I need to mess with it more and start figuring out things for sure with him. I'm trying to imagine like what some sword characters are gonna look like with this. Are there moves safe enough on shield for that to work? What if like, what if like Roy can just actually just mash on your sh shield super safely and you just cannot do anything about it? Ooh, that's kind of cute. Yeah, I'm liking the looks of this. The more I look at this, the more I'm like, this is gonna make people who are really good at microspacing that much harder to hit, which I like. Being rewarded for being good? You'd love to see it. Ooh, that's kind of cute. Oh my, okay. What are you doing? Okay, that's actually kind of gross. Ooh! The, look at this! Ooh! That's kind of cute. Alright, let me set a shield grab. Because I need to mess with this myself and like get used to uh, how it feels. That feels good, not gonna lie. This is what happens if I try to run away. Do this though? We in there instantly. Yeah, running away is safe, but then we can't do that. <laughs> I suck less. It works, it's tricky, but doable. Oh baby. All right, let me do it the other way now. That is so gross. Wait a second, I have another idea. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do IDJ slingshots. Wait a second. Remember when we were theorizing a while ago that if you could consistently do like perfect IDJ nares forward, then wait a second. For Falcon, it might just be more of like, not even like using it for like shield pressure, which is like the most obvious usage for it. But I'm really thinking that for Falcon, 
we might use it the most literally just movement in neutral like not even necessarily trying to do anything in particular i'm i'm starting to think that it might be the best to not really dash around anymore but to just run towards them when we want to run towards them and then when we want to move backwards instead of turning around we slingshot that way we can kind of like ignore a lot of the weaknesses that come with our turnaround and then just yeah an example might just be like instead of back dashing we slingshot back yeah that's that's perfect drift in idj nairs off of the back of a slingshot so yeah, you're just mixing this shit together. Perfect drift forward IDJ aerials. I need to get it better. Oh, I messed up the moment. But like, that was it right there. Wait, I like that actually. Yeah, like doing that instead of a turnaround. Like, look at that shit in neutral. That's what you do with it. Instead of turning around and getting my shit snagged, I slung shot away and was like, fuck you, and then whiff punished. Like, it's gonna take time to use, but, like, the spacing. Using that for spacing seems. Nice. Instead of just turning around from something, let's just see ya. I think it's gonna be. I think this tech's gonna be good for Falcon. It it just needs more time to be messed with, like a lot more time. Yeah, I definitely think that if people think look at this movement tech and their first thought is, "Oh my god, this is so broken," that's not the correct way to look at it at all. You should 100% look at it as it is just another movement option that brings up a whole bunch of new possibilities. Every movement option that's in this game brings with it new possibilities and things you can do.